Hello everybody, thank you so much for watching. My name is Alexander, I'm a Porsche certified sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach and thank you so much once again for all the engagement with my YouTube channel. If you like my Porsche walkaround videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please hit that like button and feel free to comment down below. My contact information will also be in the video description, including my email and phone number. In today's walkaround video, we're going to look at this spectacular 2021 Porsche 911 Turbo S Coupe. This is the latest generation of the Porsche 911 Turbo S, the model code 992, and now in total the 8th generation of the iconic Porsche 911 sports car. Congratulations also to the owner for building such a fantastic specification and allowing me to share it on my YouTube channel for you guys to see. This is one of the most highly optioned 911 Turbo S's to be delivered at our dealership. So we're going to go one by one, look at most of the features that this very special car has. And uh, of course, feel free to uh, contact me if you have any questions. We're going to start here with the exterior color. In this case, finished in jet black metallic. This is one of the two black colors for the Porsche 911, which will be A1 black as a standard color. And this one is 2T jet black metallic. This one is also the first one to arrive in our dealership with the sport package. So in today's video, we're really going to focus on the specific content within the sport package, including the wheels, the sport design package, the rear wing, the exhaust system, the diffuser, and also the roof. So we're going to start here in the front where we can see that part of the sport package is the sport design uh, exterior package. So you can see the additional shark fin element here on the side of the vehicle. This wouldn't be there if the vehicle didn't have the sport design exterior package. And that continues here to the middle section of the front bumper for more aggressive styling compared to the standard 911 Turbo S. You can also see right now that the front splitter is in a down position. This is part of the Porsche Active Aerodynamics, which is standard for the 911 Turbo and 911 Turbo S. We can see here in the middle the beautiful Turbo S embossing in the uh, front splitter. Also, part of this vehicle is the optional surround view camera system. You can see the lens there right in the middle. Of course, giving it the full 360 camera system. And the 992 is the first Porsche 911 available with the surround view option. Let's have a better look here at the front fascia. Love the width, of course, of the body of the new Turbo, even wider and Turbo S as the 991 generation 911. And look at this beautiful front fascia with the splitter down. Really, really cool. The new 911 Turbo S also has active air flaps right now in the open position. Now these are automatically, these will automatically close and open depending on aerodynamic needs and cooling uh, needs for the vehicle. And of course, this is being done for aerodynamic efficiency versus the cooling in the front. LED matrix headlights are standard for the 992 Turbo S. You can see the beautiful inside housing, recognizable the matrix lights with these specific lines in the bottom section of the headlight unit. And also here the shape of the individual daytime running lights, which is more of a square setup with the standard LED headlights on the other 992s more have a round setup for the uh, daytime running lights. Again, the width of the body of the 992 Turbo and Turbo S even wider as the previous generation. And look how beautiful that is done. Of course, mentioned many times before in my previous YouTube videos, uh, some of the biggest inspiration for the 992 generation 911 was the 930 Turbo in the air cool days. Some of those design features recognizable by the lines here in the center of the hood, the actual squareness and length of the hood, and also how the headlight sits in the fenders in terms of positioning and the upright uh, section of them. You can kind of see it here with the combination of the length of the hood. Really, really beautifully done. Okay, the next content of the sport package are going to be the wheels. So the Turbo S comes standard with center locking wheels, which is this specific design, 20 inch in the front, 21 inch in the back. But part of the sport package is that Porsche will actually paint these wheels in a dark silver color. So this has not been seen before for this specific wheel, can only be obtained in the form of getting the sport package. Love the way it looks in the dark silver finish, really, really nicely and has this beautiful satin glow to it. Right behind it, we can see the gigantic PCCB, the Porsche Carbon Composite Brake System, which again is a standard feature for the 992 Turbo S. And then the owner decided to change the yellow calipers to factory high gloss black, which is a Porsche exclusive manufacturer option. These wheels are center locking, which has been standard for the Turbo S models for quite some years. And of course, it looks really, really nice. That, by the way, that's also one of the differences compared to the Turbo model and the Turbo S, the Turbo S having the center locking wheels standard. Another feature of the sport package is going to be the mirror caps. So in this case, finished in carbon fiber. Normally these are exterior color, but part of the sport package is the carbon fiber finish of the mirror housing. And you can also see that the bottom section has also been painted in jet black metallic. 
Love the way that looks, especially in combination with the carbon fiber roof. So again, sport package, finishing carbon fiber roof. Looks amazing, especially in combination, of course, with the carbon fiber used on the rear view mirrors. And then another feature of the sport package is gonna be the window trim around the windows. You can see here the window trim, the strips going around the windows. Once again, finished in high gloss black, which is part of the sport package. Continuing with the sport package, it's gonna be the air intakes painted in exterior color, sorry, in high gloss black. So high gloss black for the intakes is once again part of the sport package in combination with high gloss black for the window trim. More high gloss black for the sport package would be the finish here of the engine slats. So normally these middle section of these engine slats are finished in silver, but in the sport package, Porsche paints them high gloss black. Okay, getting here to the rear end where more content of the sport package can be seen in the form of the clear till lights, also known as tinted till lights to some people. So Porsche removing the middle section, this section here on the till light, which normally is red and also making this clear. And again, that is part of the sport package in combination with the Porsche letters themselves, once again, finished in high gloss black. And also you can see the model designation on this one, once again, finished in high gloss black. Okay, the last part here of the sport package on the rear end is also the diffuser. So the middle section here between the exhaust system finished once again in high gloss black. This is a more aggressively designed diffuser versus the non-sport design exterior package. And of course, this is also with the sport exhaust system, which again is part of the sport package. You do have the availability for different colors for the sport exhaust. This one makes sense, finished in high gloss black. Now also the rear spoiler is redesigned having the sport package. So again, this is part of the sport design exterior package. You can see that the lower element is longer than the top section. And then on the end here, we have this horn shape element going up and that is only standard on the version with the sport design exterior package. So is the redesigned front splitter or uh, front lower section of the front fascia. We have the different diffuser here on the bottom section. And then we have the redesigned rear wing set up here, again, specific to the Sport Design exterior package as part of the Sport package. Okay, 21 inch in the back, as I mentioned earlier. Um, the largest wheel setup we've ever used for the Turbo S from the factory. So 20 inch in the front, 21 inch in back, and now also running a 315 rear section tire instead of a 305 that was used on the 991 model code uh, Turbo S. Rear axle steering system still standard on the 911 Turbo S, the same for PDCC, Porsche Dynamic Chassis Control. And of course, many of you have seen the videos of this vehicle. This is a very, very, very fast car. Engine 3.8 liter twin turbo flat six, producing 640 uh, horsepower for the American market, connected to an active all wheel drive system through an eight speed PDK dual clutch transmission. Top speed well over 200 miles an hour. And of course, we've all seen the zero to 60s on this car. Incredible numbers around two and a half seconds in terms of zero to 60 time. Okay, another feature for this one is the side skirts on the bottom section. You can see they are also painted in the uh, high gloss black finish. And another cool feature that the owner decided to do is actually the stone guards here on the side. They are finished in matte black. Again, this is Porsche using some retro design from back in the day in the air cool days available on the modern day uh, 992. Love the way that the black stone guards look on this, on this paint, especially in combination with the color of the wheels. Look at this combo, looks really, really, really nice. Okay, going around the vehicle more. Again, we talked about the roof, the mirror caps, the side skirts, the wheels, the brakes, the rear axle steering system, the headlights, and of course the front face of this specific 911 blends really, really nicely together. Time to uh, take a look on the inside where this one was ordered with the black bordeaux red interior. Here we go. So we can see the top side of the dashboard being finished in black. We have the red stitching, the bordeaux red stitching on top of the dashboard. The seats themselves, the 18 way sports seats plus, which are standard for the Turbo S. And then again, covered in bordeaux red leather. We also see the beautiful Turbo S embossing in the headrest, which is standard for the Turbo S. Love, love also the loop here that Porsche nowadays uses to fold the, uh, the, mirror, the, sorry, the, uh, the, the uh, seats forward. You can see also the controls there on the side. Those are the 18-way adjustable um, seats, of course, with all the buttons to control those. These seats are also ventilated and heated in this case. Some more red has been added in the form of the center instrument dial. You can see also finished in red. And also the sport chrono clock on top of the dashboard, once again, finished in red. 
Again, these are individual extras, the uh, instrument dial in red, the Sport Chrono Clock in red. The Sport Chrono Clock itself is standard on the Turbo S. And of course, you can see the driving mode switch there on the steering wheel. More carbon fiber has been added by the owner in the form of the matte finished carbon fiber steering wheel. So you can see this section here and this here also finishing carbon fiber. The carbon fiber itself standard on the Turbo S would be the inlay here on the dashboard, on the, sorry, on the door going across on the dashboard. And then even more carbon fiber has been added on this one in the form of the LED illuminated side sills. The beautiful 911 Turbo S numbers and lettering here in the side sill and you can see there the LED illumination, how beautiful and cool that looks. The PCM navigation system also standard on the new generation 911, that's the same for comfort access. See the beautiful headliner finished in the Alcantara suede, nowadays called Race Tax. Another very special feature on the inside is going to be here, the backside of the Sport Seats Plus. This is a very rare option to see, where you can see the beautiful border red leather has also been extended here on the backside of the seat. And look at all the additional carbon fiber, guys. So not just carbon fiber added to the steering wheel, to the side sill here, and the standard trim in the doors and the dashboard, but even the inlaying carbon fiber here on the back shell of the seat. Incredible, beautiful Porsche exclusive manufacture options and blends so nicely together with the other colors inside the vehicle. Some other luxury items on this one is also the lane change assist, also known as blind spot detection. And here we have the Burmester 3D surround sound system. This one also has the extended leather package. Now that is generally most recognizable by, for example, Porsche applying leather. Also on the side here of the uh, dashboard, we have leather that goes all the way from this edge of the dashboard all the way towards the windshield. Even that covered with red deviated stitching and Bordeaux red. And you can see the leather all the way up down here to the lower section of the, uh, of the door panel with the beautiful red stitching and the le uh, red leather. Another standard feature of the 911 Turbo S is the 930 interior package. Now again, just like the black stone guards, to celebrate the classic air-cooled uh, features from back in the day, this was also um, in the 930 Turbo in back in the days, and Porsche now bringing it back to the interior finish of the 992. Really love how they incorporate some classic design features into the modern day Porsche 911. I know this was a longer video. This vehicle has a lot of special features. I hope it was clear what the content is of, content is of the Sport Design Package. Once again, sorry, the Sport Package. Once again, congratulations to the owner for specking such a fantastic version of the 911 Turbo S. What an amazing, amazing build this one is. And then thank you so much for joining me on this YouTube walk around video. Again, my name is Alexander. I'm a Porsche sales professional at Porsche West Palm Beach. If any questions, feel free to contact me directly via email or telephone, especially when you're here in the US market. I hope everybody's well. Please be safe out there and please keep sharing the Porsche passion. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.